Nowadays, any academic textbook on thermodynamics comes with software. What sets FluidProp apart is that it is extremely easy to use, even if it is very powerful. The complex thermodynamic chart that you see here has been generated with FluidProp in Excel, something you can do yourself with a bit of practice, and it is exactly the same as one of the charts of Appendix A in the book. You can use FluidProp also with other general purpose programs like MATLAB or Maple and in different operating systems like Windows, as you see here, Mac OS, and also Linux. Let's have a look at how you can compute the thermodynamic state of a fluid. First of all, you have to select the set fluid function among the list of available fluid prop functions. Then you have to tell FluidProp which thermodynamic model you want to use, in this case IF97 for water. In case the fluid is pure, we do not need to input any other information, namely the names of constituents and their concentration. In this example we are going to use SI, which is default unit system. Now, say that we need to compute the enthalpy for a given temperature and pressure. First, we type in the temperature, in this case 200 Celsius, and the pressure, 2 bar. The enthalpy is one of the numerous functions provided by fluid probe. Here, the arguments are the location of the cell identifying the fluid, the input specification, the variables specifying the thermodynamic state, P and T here, and the values for these inputs, and we select the appropriate cells. The result is readily available and it is in kilojoule per kilogram. Another key feature of fluid prop is its ability to calculate properties of fluid mixtures. As always, we start by specifying the fluid in the model using the set fluid function. The model name in this case is the free version of Stanmix, one of the fluid prop modules implementing a cubic equation of state. The components of these examples are two hydrocarbons, benzene and toluene. This is a so-called predefined mixture in Stanmix. The molar concentrations are 0.5 and 0.5. Therefore, the composition is equimolar. We also specify SI as the set of units we want to use. Again, we want to calculate an enthalpy using temperature and pressure as input variables. The temperature is 500 Kelvin. The pressure is 1 bar in Pascal which is 100,000 Pascal. The calculation of the enthalpy is done in exactly the same way as it was done for a pure fluid. We select enthalpy as a function, specify the cell where the model and the fluid are defined, provide an input specification, and the corresponding values. The result is in joule per kilogram. 